when I uh, got my arts degree from Queen's University, I had to be working. When I got my master's degree from the University of Toronto, I had to be working because I realized these things weren't given to me. Now, I do feel that employers, even to make jobs, have to exercise some social responsibility and perhaps if there's somebody that's homeless, maybe this person should get first dibs at the jobs in, in McDonald's, for example, so that they do have some cash to pay for their rent. You know, I, if you I, can wrap it up, Bill. Yeah, I, I don't see the rents being paid by tax dollars by City Hall, but I think social services should sub, 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 subsidize youth in need. Thank you. Chris Tuttle. You know, 20 years ago when I worked for the MPP of Oshawa, the provincial government built many non-profit housing units and spaces all over the province. And then along came Mike Harris in 1995, we ended up downloading, and as a result now, we don't have such units being built regularly. And the problem being, of course, if young people cannot find education and retain themselves, they end up on social assistance, which is far below the poverty level. They have to live in a rooming house with most of their paycheck going uh, to food and rent, and they end up in a very decadent situation with hopelessness and despair. I think something that should be done is that we should give assistance to young people to be retrained. You know, just, just 10 days ago, this amazing story, Germany announced to the whole world that they're going to have free tuition. Free tuition. Think of it. When I went to Durham College, it was $185 a year. Well, that was back in the 1850s. That's facts. That's facts. No, 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 just you And uh, You're looking good for over 150 years old. Thank you. <laughs> and 750 bucks a year uh, to go to York University. And now you're talking eight, nine, ten thousand dollars in books. Today are more expensive than my tuition was. I think young people, particularly with a university here and a college, should be given some assistance, not loans, grants, in order to get an education, because that's the key to moving out of that rut and finding yourself in this world. And it also addresses the emotional degradation and the bullying and other things that go on when a young person hits the bottom of the barrel. Thank you, Chris. John Perry. Thank you. That has been articulated previously. The responsibility for social housing actually does fall to the region. Now, there was a wonderful plan that was created uh, several years ago by the region, uh, received accolades actually, uh, but unfortunately there's not been any action on it. There are things that the city can do, however. For example, you can allocate land so that that can be part of the component, the city's component to helping to create uh, more affordable housing units. Uh, it's, it's difficult when you realize, as mentioned, the downloading has hurt that opportunity and of course anything that we do comes out of the property tax base. Uh, the province used to have wonderful resources and there were some wonderful non-profit organizations that still exist today, but we're not seeing the same level of units being created today that we saw 20 years and 30 years ago. And that becomes the problem. So I think the, the, the problem is that the region, as mayors, we are regional councillors and it's up to us to advocate. And I think it's high time we realize aging boomers, we're going to have a seniors housing crisis, we've got growing ho homeless numbers, We've got to address the problem, and the way we're going to have to do it is at the region of Durham, making certain that they realize it is a real problem. And I do know it falls into every single community. It's not just Oshawa. Thank you. John Henry. Thank you. You may not know this, but on Ritzer Road North, beside the land transfer station, there is an excellent project to build some affordable housing for seniors. And that project is, uh, you can see the construction sailors trailer is actually on, on site, and the problem is that project is being held up by a traffic stop. And that's a shame, because that could have gone a long way to relieve some of the problems we have, but when you solve one problem at one level, it opens up spaces at another level. And uh, that project should go forward next year. It was all of the money for social housing for the entire Durham region came to Oshawa for that project. And at the region, we have a number of programs that uh, I wish didn't exist but have to exist. And one is the Eviction Prevention Program. It's about emergency hostels and shelters. It's about a housing outreach program. 
It's about eviction prevention programs where people have no place else to go and they call our office and we have to have a way to help deal with that so their stuff doesn't end up on the street. It's about making things work, but it's not just about youth where we have problems. We have problems all the way up to affordable housing for seniors. And when you free up housing and you can move a senior someplace, it frees up a spot for somebody else. So uh, if you could get behind us and help drive that project next year, that would be a good win for the city of Washington. Thank you. Any further comments? Rosemary. Uh, just a rebuttal to um, John Gray. Uh, you talked about the plan at the region in the past, a wonderful plan. Uh, in your last term on Oshawa Council, you were chair of planning and economic <coughs> development. Uh, I don't understand how you can talk about something in the past when you were there. Uh, and in fact, if we're talking about in the past, the numbers, you know, what someone paid in tuition at college, I can talk about properties that I first sold in the city, beautiful homes on Adelaide, fully detached for 23000 We're in a different era, and we have different problems, and they're not being addressed. Um, Thank you, John. Did you want to respond to that? Yes. Land use planning is different than actually building social housing. Uh, complete difference. If you've got zoning for multi-res, you can build your social housing. That's the important. Let's distinguish that there's a difference between the two. One has to come first. You have to have the right zoning. And you've got the zoning already. Bill. So one of my uh, platform uh, issues is to develop a new industry in town, micro-housing. And this was to address the student housing issue around the university. But then I've since expanded this to suggest this could also be used for independent housing for seniors with all the health care and social services and so on right in sight. But why not expand this to youth in need uh, under the supervision perhaps of your organization? Uh, because something has to be done and we have to assume responsibility for the needy in our society. You know, business is not going to do it with us. I have one of my websites I've been working on for a number of years, fairjobs.ca. I'm concerned that all of the wealth is being concentrated in a few hands, all at the expense of the economy as a whole, because it's depriving the middle class of disposable income, which in the end limits all of the sales and production of all of our industrial concerns. We have to do something about this, and I think, I think there's federal government legislation that's required to fix jobs. You know, 35% of the people in Canada are employed in part-time contract and casual employment. That's 35% of the people cut out of the purchase of big ticket items. Well, let's talk That's about wrong jobs. and it hurts our economy. That's actually my next question. So let's